Hello and welcome back to Let's Play You Don't Know Jack. My name is WW Deadman, but you already know that we are playing the next episode, which is episode 43 of the game. The Red Council. Or what government analysts are calling a landslide victory. Okay. We're at 30 seconds. Donnie here, thanks for enjoining us. How many people are you? Just me. How sad, you have no fiends. Go ahead and give me your name then. No. Really? You have no name? How on Portugal? Let's see. From now on, you're Sisyphus. You're like a rock and this game is like a mountain. Fantastic. We're almost at go. Ten seconds. Guest of luck. That, that makes no sense. Six. Five. Go to black. Four. This is Cookie, and I've spent years of my life trying to decipher the meaning of the lyrics to Toto's Africa. Really? Couldn't find a partner? Gee, it's kind of like a metaphor. Do you know what that means? <laughs> and your wrong answer of the game is being sponsored by the Red Council. From Rudolph to Russia, we are the Red Council. Pick the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to win a fabulous prize and big cash. Good. Okay, let's not waste any more time. First up. Oh, no, you didn't. Suppose speed skater Apollo Anton Ono falls down and his body reacts just like the character who always says, Oh no, what will happen? He'll bounce off the ice like rubber, he'll break into tiny pieces like glass, he'll get squished like clay, or he'll turn green and angry. I have no fucking idea. The character who says, oh no, is Mr. Bill, the lovable clay figurine who's always getting his body squished by one thing or another. Never heard of that. Another similarity is that Mr. Bill wears red, white, and blue, just like Apollo Ono. Am I right? USA! 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 Come on, what? say it with me. USA! No. US! No? No. US! No. Okay. Next. No. Just no. Here's one for you. Young Vampires in Love. In case you haven't read the books, the vampires in Twilight... Oh, God. The vampires sparkle like diamonds. What would vampire Edward Cullen look like if his diamond sparkle were GIA certified as grade E for Edward? A colorless vampire, a near colorless vampire, a faint yellow vampire, or a yellow vampire? E. A yellow vampire? Hello? Anyone home? <laughs> One right answer coming up. According to the diamond color grading scale established by the Gemological Institute of America, E-grade diamonds are colorless. And E-grade diamonds are friggin' expensive. I know this because I've had several costly failed engagements. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go read Breaking Dawn one more time. Why not try? Cause I'm a rocket duck. What do Scrooge what? McDuck and Sir Elton John have in common? They both dropped out of school, they were both born in Scotland, they were both named after Dickens characters, or they both are terrorized by the Beagle Boys. Uh... You really took out that question's innards and boiled it in its own stomach. I so wanted you to pick this one. Both are self-made men as they dropped out of school at early ages. Which just goes to sh I did not know the backstory of Scrooge McDuck. Show you kids that the only thing standing between you and a massive bin of money to swim in is school. Here we have, well, you sure smell fishy and it's a dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven animals. For each one, tell me if it's definitely a fish or okay. if it's definitely not a fish. If Easy. It's a fish, 
Press one. If Unless you have animals, I don't know. Press two. Each one right nets you 300 keepers. Get it wrong, and I'll throw back 300. Make it fast. You don't want this one to get away. Okay, we're off. Jellyfish. Cuttlefish. Starfish. Crayfish. Sawfish. The fuck's a crayfish? Fish. Eel. The I fuck's a. Provoked your fishing license. The fuck's a crayfish? That threw me completely off. Crayfish. Oh. <laughs> Freshwater crustaceans resembling lobsters. Never heard of that. Being called crayfish. Anyway, why why does English have a habit of calling fish that are uh, like things that aren't fish fish? Like obviously, star fish is a sea star, not a fish. A jellyfish is, well, just jelly, not fish. <laughs> I mean, fucking fish obviously isn't fish. But that the, the crayfish fucking put me off so far that I... Wow. It's interesting how they have the word fish in their names, but aren't actually fish. It's like a grapefruit. It's neither a grape nor a fruit. Actually, actually cookie grapefruits are fruit. A grapefruit is a fruit. I hate you, Chad. Where's the bow, girl? Let's try and introducing Brad Zapp with the, the, to the son. What? Which difficult celebrity name have I misspelled? Jake Gyllenhaal, Shia LaBeouf, Scarlett Johansson, or Zach Galifianakis? Fuck if I know? Pay attention. Shia LaBeouf is the only name here that is misspelled. Next up, how to pronounce Chew the Tell I Gia for. Nah, that's spelled right. But Scarlet is red. Before you start seeing red, you should know that picking Scarlet has won you the color red from the Red Council. Because every other color sucks. This wrong answer of the game just gets you an extra 4,000 smackers. Congratulations. I now own the color red. What? <laughs> Round one is in the books. And you've got a decent score there. Don't screw it up. Remember, in round two, every question is worth double. Now get out there and make me proud. This one's known as Choo Choo Meet Virginia. What train whistle sequence would notify the band train that their career is going backwards? This, 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 or this? I have no idea. Three short whistle toots means the train is backing up. I mean, like, do we even, do, does, do trains that actually have those whistles still exist? Like, what? In other words, Train's concert tour would sound something like this. Hello, New York. I mean, hello, Toledo. Hello, Southland Shopping Center. Questions <laughs> Buck her up for internal temperatures. Our interns bought me this cooking thermometer for when I grill because they kept on getting salmonella. I guess it was nice, but I tried to tell them I'm doing that on purpose. Okay, say I didn't want to get an intern violently ill. <laughs> okay, sorry, let me start over. Okay, say I didn't want to get an intern violently ill. What should be the minimum internal temperature of the chicken we'll be having at our next staff cookout? Stop with your 
freaking yank measurements, by the way. You're definitely gonna gonna bring that up in Fahrenheit. 98 degrees Fahrenheit, 165 degrees Fahrenheit, 212 degrees Fahrenheit, or 320 degrees Fahrenheit. <sighs> I'm going to type in the correct uh freaking Celsius measurement. Um Good. The USDA recommends chicken be cooked to 165 degrees to kill salmonella and other harmful bacteria. I guess I should stop giving the interns food poisoning. A part of me will miss it, but this does free up my schedule enough to fit in some flogging. Oh, hello! Unpaid help! I want to show you something! Come here, you! Unpaid oh, interns? Cute they are when they're scared. Flogging chicken, picking out a mate. That's like literally illegal How around here. Epic fall. You know, I'm I'm really not hungry, so maybe we could skip doing the cookies fortune this time around. Maybe do a trash question or a uh Okay, fine. Well, you know, I'm putting on a lot of weight because of these questions. Let's just get to the fortune. No man is a failure who is enjoying life. <laughs> Whatever. Which of these failures is enjoying Milton Bradley's game of life? George Costanza rolling dice, Willie Loman pulling a chance card, Wiley Coyote spinning a numbered wheel, or you popping the Popomatic bubble? The game of life doesn't use dice or that weird bubble from the game Trouble. It uses a spinning wheel embedded in the middle of the game board. Yep. I hate playing like I have life standing game. over there in the distracted by the freaking shelf so he leaves on the board this one's called darty dar dar suppose Charles Darwin's famous world traveling ship gets bought and renamed for advertising purposes which new name would keep <coughs> the same breed of dog in the ship's original name HMS Marmaduke HMS Odie HMS Snoopy or HMS Fred Bassett I have no idea what freaking Charles Darwin's boat was called watch the clock Snoopy Snoopy is a beagle and Darwin sailed on the HMS Beagle Oh. So then you'd have a ship named after Snoopy and then that MetLife blimp with Snoopy on it. All they need now is to paint a Snoopy on every car in America. Let me never let me go. Yeah. Take a stab at. I'm from the future and I need pants. So I've been thinking I'd like to do some time traveling, but I'm not really comfortable with public nudity. Which time travel method is the safest bet if I don't want people in other time periods seeing my junk? The one from the Terminator movies, the one from 12 Monkeys, the one from the Time Traveler's Wife, or the one from Time Cop? I don't know about the other three, not Terminator. Hey, I'm not gonna be running around with my Eric Bana nah, dangling for everyone to see. <laughs> Allow me. Time travel requires some nudity in the Terminator, 12 Monkeys, and the Time Traveler's Wife. But in Time Cop, it just requires you to ride in some weird crash test simulator thingy. It also requires you to be Jean-Claude Van Damme, which is too high a price. Too high a price. Welcome to the attack. Okay, if that's how you want it. Here's the clue. Can I interest you in a threesome? Okay, I'll Excuse me? An easy one. Ready, set, go. Scissors. Huh? Stop, drop, and roll. Let's 
snack crackling. Oh, I'm the pop, you fucking asshat. I have no fucking idea. Fire. I have no freaking clue what you're going for with that. Or with that, for that matter. Again, no idea. Tend to take the training wheels off, lose the streamers, ditch the cute little bell, and ride with the big boys for a while, know what I mean? Um, I wasn't speaking in metaphors, I'm serious. Why are you still riding a five-year-old's bike? You're creeping out the entire neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrap. Donnie, what's happening? Hey! Like, dude, I... <laughs> Physically impossible. Like, physically impossible. No way. <laughs> just, just, like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Until then, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more, and until next time, I'm WDW Devin. Bye.